Ah, I love watching this Bananica video. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, am I right? <laughs> Just look at the way he did that. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! I bet you you haven't even asked yourself this question before. Are TF2 maps livable? Like, would you want to live inside of the map? That's what I'm here to answer today, one of life's greatest mysteries. And to do that, I brought along my bud, Carrot.pdf, and we will be featuring Heavy from the hit video game Team Fortress 2. Strap in and prepare for one of the videos of all time. All right, hello there, it's me again, it's me again. And this time we're rating TF2 maps based on their uh, living comfort. So we're here at Blue Spawn. You, you can actually could live here. The, it, like, maybe this might be like your bedroom, you feel me? Like there's a kitchen and stuff. Like this is where your medicine cabinet and like snacks, like bullets, you can eat those, right? So you walk out and it's pretty green. You make a, maybe you could farm something. Like, there's pumpkins. You can eat that. Uh, it's like, it's pretty dry, though. That's the only problem. So you walk in here, and there's hay. A lot of crates. I mean, you might... You could put, like, livestock in here. That, if you're into farming, something like that, you could do that. So you're walking around. There's not much water accessibility. You know, here's, a, like, a shed. It's very dilapidated and decrepit. Like, this entire place is just really old. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the roofs, the roof is coming apart, the roofing, the roof, the roof, the roofing, yeah, tires, you could put a lot of, like, small areas, like a compound, and we're walking on the red side, tools, equipment, and, you know, if you're a vegetarian and you're into that, or farming, some kind of farming, this would be good for farming, there's not much water accessibility, even if we come over here, there's, there's still not that much there's it's i mean it's all right it's not the best it's not the worst it's pretty mediocre the the only problem is there's no water and you need water but it's big probably room for cattle look it, it even says happy farmers there's a way to get out um uh, but you'll have to bring your own water and that's the only downside so overall i would rate harvest a uh, a, uh, uh, um, uh 15 sofas out of 25. Hello, it's -a me back from the dead. Hopefully my audio won't be as bad this time. Ar -ar -ar. So I'm on a normal gorge right now and I'm at the red spawn and spawn itself doesn't really look like you could live in it, but it could be more of like a garage area. You could like park a car in here. And I think that's supported by some props around here about cars, but it's also a nice gaming setup over here. You could definitely do some good gaming on these, albeit these computers are probably from like the 70s and they have phones attached to them, which is interesting, but it's a setup. After all, you could probably play some good Fortnite on that. And this big area right here, definitely make for a good like main living room. You maybe put a, a jumbotron up there and some couches, you know, but if we just move on here we'll see that there's barrels of toxic waste and that's not very good for living but they are pretty funny so they can be there and we got the boilers over here you know if you have if you have a, a shower or like heating or whatever i don't know how that works you need some boilers just from over here of the messed up textures and there you can see there's a lot of pipes probably water pipes there's water here in this place you got electricity water heating so it's livable you can live in here i'd say most of this area is about the same. Some stairs. You could probably put some rooms around here. Maybe a bit of a tripping hazard of these ledges over here, but it's pretty fine. As you see with this, there's actually built-in security cameras, so you'll have plenty of security. If we head outside to the middle capture point, or rather the first capture point, see it's a very nice open lush green area. We seem to be in the woods, very hilly area, maybe some mountainous zones. Very large building over there that we can't enter in the game. But we have phone service. This could be like a 5G tower right there. Joe Biden. Pretty cool area. You could have some barbecues up out here, you know? You got some barbecues. In this area, we got giant containers, probably filled with water. These barrels are blue, you know, water tanks. In case you get your water cut off because you haven't paid your taxes in 24 years. These are here for you. And we're here at Blue Spawn, as you see. Another open area, but this one's more concrete. Probably do, probably set up like a basketball court or something around here. Something more fun. If you got this shed here, you could do like some Home Depot type stuff. 
put some power tools in here. Got giant shipping containers. I know some people who have uh, shipping containers in their backyard. It's an interesting, interesting thing to have. You could put this cone over your head. And if we phase in a blue spawn, we have a pretty barren area, but it's ventilated. So you could be in here. I'd probably call this the master bedroom. It's pretty big. And it's even got a uh, medical supplies and like a gaming setup attached to it right here it's, uh, it's got a lot of math but overall i'd rate standard gorge um i'd give it a an eight actually I'd give it an eight you can live in it but it's not it's definitely not the nicest house it's pretty industrial so that's an eight all right uh now i'm back again for a second map and we are doing swift water uh, this might not be that bad so we're in blue spawn and it's very spacious. The building is very big. Uh, the projecting room could be like your movie, pretty comfortable set up some, like your wardrobe. Maybe it's like some sofas in there, like lounge area. You have weights, you might turn this into a gym. You walk out, you have large water pipes. So there's your water access. So you walk, you walk out and as you can see, there is a there is a river, and it does it looks pretty clean. It doesn't look that bad, even though it is sewage. Uh, boil it first, make sure you don't die. There's a railroad for easy accessibility. These water towers. You you have a nice source of water. Not much food, but we will see what we can do with that. So you walk over here. We're walking towards the middle point. You know, just these quick shot. All right, and then nothing much here. Uh, you can use the storage. Maybe not actually, no, you can use the storage. All right, so now we're going to go to the cave. As requested, the cave could be an option, you know? It's, a, it's an abandoned cave. There's a, a lot of room. You could get electricity. It's a possibility. I wouldn't be too reliant on that though. Um, it's pretty noisy. It's very echoey. And I mean, it's pretty narrow too. It's all connected. There wouldn't be that, maybe right here it'd be okay. Like for a lounge area, but mainly it's just too narrow in my opinion. Uh, but you, it's a possibility you could make a home in here. So let's move on to the middle middle point so you're here you uh you you uh walked or you rode a car all the way over here and it's a huge building more storage you know that's pretty you need storage there's toxic waste but that could be a good snack you walk up you can go go you say okay well yeah you just kind of walk walk through you're chilling with a lot of storage here somewhere over here there could be medicine cabinet it's very spacious. A lot of there's power going through it, and overall, it's it's pretty good on this side. Uh, there's large vents for easy transportation. You're in here, and look, it, it has a basement, and this is really all you need: medicine, wardrobe, and poisonous gas. But like, who wouldn't want this? But that's it for this part. We're gonna go back up and go back out to the middle point. That's only that's only a sneak peek. We haven't been over here, so. It's a little bit tricky to get up, but you can do it, I believe. So you come over here, and you you can walk across through here. I don't know how you would walk across, but you could. And then you come through, go up the steps, walk across, and go through here. Now, the first... Wait, oh, this ain't where I'm supposed to go. No, what the hell? Oh, all right. Cut this part up. All right, so you come over here, and you're walking through. This is mainly just for uh storage storage purposes power you have power you have everything there's your mailbox so that's that's what you can get uh there is a giant hole in the wall but there is toiletries first thing there's a mop you know everything's good everything's pretty it's okay that's a little bit of a yikes but let's move on to the last part of swift water the end all right let's inspect this that balcony is probably not safe. There are holes that you can fall into, break your leg. But if you just remodel it, you'll be fine for the most part. This building, this building doesn't really have mud. But you walk in here, and uh, it's pretty spacious. It's, you just could sell all this nuclear waste to the government. You make a lot of money, um, and it could be a tax write-off. You know, this this view would be pretty nice with the the, uh, the wall, but you get a nice peek of all this industry. Walking through, this could be, you, you could just make these any rooms you want, really. It doesn't, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do with the rooms, but overall, I think you could do a lot with how much space is in this, but um, there is a giant 
my like kind of pit but it does ramp down and it'd be fine you could turn this into an outdoor living area you know this could be like where you set up the grill right there is where you could set up the grill a anywhere really storage all you need back here uh there is water you you just take the, the tracks down use a hose connect with another thing it's by wood it's by the mountain i think this is a great place to be so uh, i believe this map should get a seven thank you for your time thank you very much josh for that information but here we are on king kong this map now this map takes place in actually a pretty urban setting so i'm expecting it to be pretty livable we seem to be inside of a janitor's closet right now though these messed up gmod textures are crazy but they do have a nice setup back there heading out of red spawn we have asian area people we'll live in I, I wouldn't say typical but it's kind of cramped thinking about this one city that there was in like south korea i think that was wild but you could definitely live here there's even public transportation public do we don't have this in america we don't and it's double decker so i guess this place is british pretty nice bridge over the road we also don't have that in america very often there's even escalators that are turned off for your comfort they got the rocket noodle who doesn't want the rocket noodle you got classic night shop which i i, I guess is still night in there because it's really dark i don't know how much i'd be willing to pay for night 24 hours that's fish we're gonna move under the main control point it's a nice communal area up there. Down here, it's a little darker. More of the, the back streets of this place, I'd say. A lot of pipes and working, functioning down here. Um, I'm not sure if you would like to live in a place that has a do not answer sign. Sounds pretty dangerous to me. But the average bathroom does sometimes have that sign on it. And that's about the whole map, really. Blue spawn is identical to red spawn. So I guess this is really a representation of the hood, I'd say. I'm, I'm gonna sound terrible saying this. But overall, I would give this map definitely a 9.5 out of 10. You can. This is literally an urban place where people live. There's shops, there's communal areas, public transportation, electricity, water, heating, anything. Probably have it. Not the nicest place to live. That's why I took off. 0.5 points but it's livable and um i guess i'd live here out of any place in tf2 really but from what i've seen